Hello everyone, it is Doc Hitchcock back again with another puzzle solve and today we are going to be solving the jammed gem. So this is a wooden puzzle that uh, is by Cubic Dissection, which is a collaboration, well this puzzle is a collaboration, by Eric Fuller and Frederick Boucher. I hope I pronounced the names correctly, please forgive me if I didn't. Regardless, uh, at first it looks a little bit like a burr puzzle and has some of those elements, which I am not a big fan of burr puzzles, but the description calls it a sequential discovery puzzle, which is my favorite type of puzzle, so I wanted to give it a go. So whether it is a good puzzle is yet to be determined. And you know I do these videos because my dad likes to watch them. So hey dad, how you doing? And I hope you're feeling better. With that being said, let's get into it. I see that this, basically there's, uh, as I saw from the, uh, dis from the, the maker's website, and I'll show the picture on here, uh, that there are three pieces within this block here. And you can see there's these three different, or four, one, two, three, four different windows into uh, this block here that uh, allow us to see those three pieces of wood that are made in Tetris-like fashion, uh, te Tetris-like shapes. And we have to somehow figure out a way to get these out and to actually find the jammed gem. So uh, one of the things that we can do is just quickly observe uh, the puzzle. And so we can see here uh, the, the maker's uh, initials and then the date that is released, 822, uh, relatively recently. There is this seam that goes across the, the whole middle of the puzzle here, but I've looked at it pretty closely. And even if you zoom in really close, you can see that there's no, that's not a seam, it's just kind of a, a, a what do you call it? Just kind of a groove that's built in the whole way around. There's no seam there, there's, there's no connection. This is one piece of wood, is it? At, at least at first glance, I may be wrong. So I also see that there's different types of woods in this. So obviously there is pot uh, you know, potential for there to be some sort of movement there, um, whether it's these pieces here, um, maybe these pieces here, whatever. Um, all we know is that at first glance, there's one piece that moves. And then that's this piece here. Now you can see it through this window as well as this one. And by the way that I can see it here, we can see that it's a piece that actually is a T formation like this. So this piece of wood actually is visible from this top window as well as this side window. And we can see if I move that out, it comes out because of that uh, shape. Now, that being said, the bottom of the T is seen, or the uh, side of the T is seen right here, but then there's really no other places that are left vacant uh, for uh, any of the other blocks to move, with the exception is that uh, if we consider the shape of the blocks that we see in the picture, this T block here, if it moves this direction, then there should be an L-shaped block, and then or one that's kind of a, um, a V and then one that's an L. And that V-shaped block, if you look closely here, is this one here, yet this does not move. I cannot get this out of this window. There should be no reason why this doesn't come out. And I've tried for a good while to get that out. Um, now, the L-shaped one is here, and that doesn't come out because this V-shaped one is blocking it. So that makes sense. Um, one other thing that I observed is that there's this little piece right here or this little place right here. And as you can see, there's these two little uh, bars that go from side to side that trap. And as you can see, there's two pieces there. And if you turn to the side, oh, see right there, now they open. And what you can see is that if you kind of hold them open and turn this way, well, you have to fiddle with it a little bit. You can see that this little like hexagonal, it looks like a, a, screw, a screw gun bit pops out, and I've tried to get that out, but I cannot get that out for the life of me. Um, I've tried every which way to try to get that out, and I have not been able to. So, at this point, um, I decided to start taking the video because I wanted to see <laughs> if I could uh, figure out what the next step is. So, I know that there's something 
that's more to this than just a burp puzzle. Uh, because they say so first off, but second off, because if it was just a bird puzzle, I should be able to move this piece here out of this window, but I cannot. I've fiddled with this. It goes up and down. I don't think it has anything to do with this piece here. At least I don't think so yet. Um, and I've actually tried pushing and pulling and all the different, like what I think could possibly be seams. And as I've been feeling around, and this is the reason why I decided to start filming now, because I think I might be on the verge of something. I actually felt around all the seams here to see if there's anything that I could like detect. And I so far have not been able to detect anything except for one thing. And I'm gonna feel around a little bit more just to see if I'm wrong. Let's see, like there's no lip, like these are very, very flush. So like when I do that, I, I don't want to scratch it, but uh, when I do that, I cannot feel like where the wood, two pieces of wood actually came together. They're except for right here. No, that's just that little groove there. So the only place that I could feel anything is right here. I can feel a slight, slight, slight kind of raised area there. Now, the other reason this caught my attention is because as I was <clears throat> so as I was um, putting this on my end table, as I was fiddling with it back and forth, uh, I noticed that when I put it on this side down, it kind of stuck a little bit to the end table. And my end tables are made of all metal. So that tells me that there is some magnets here. So I took some pieces of metal and I just kind of like scan it. And there's some very strong areas here where it kind of sticks to this wood here, but not really many other places I could find on the puzzle. So I'm thinking there must be some way to lift this piece out. Now I've tried by pulling on this and I could not get it to happen. And you can see that there's like a seam right there. I'm not sure if that's showing up, but there's a seam right there in the wood. Um, right there and so I'm thinking that's where it has to somehow pull up. So I, one, I, one of the things I hate to do is to like scratch or gouge at wood puzzles because I don't want to cause chips. So uh, I thought maybe what we can do is try that trick, oh and it worked, that we saw with uh, one of the other puzzles we reviewed which I will not say for I don't want to spoil and there, oh, there we go. Okay, so this lifts off, and as you can see, there's that little um, shaved area there. That's ever so slight that allows you to kind of push, push down, and then these two magnets. So that's what I was detecting on my table. Okay, so does that mean anything changes? Okay, so no, not really. So what do I have here? I have some magnets. I have in there it looks to be like a hex, a hex nut. Now, that's probably what's holding that L piece in place. Maybe even this V piece in place. And my feeling is it's probably this darn drill bit or screw bit it probably allows me to get that out. But I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how to get it out. Maybe it's with this, these magnets. Let's see if I can get that to come back out. Okay, so that's back out now. But I do not see how to get it out of, maybe if I, Maybe if I use these two magnets to like, if I sit the magnets there, they'll track those little pieces holding it in. <laughs> and then get it out. Okay, let's take a look. See those two little pins in there? That's what's holding that drill bit in, and I'm trying to see how do I get those out of the way so that I can 
get that drill bit out because I'm thinking that's the only thing I could think that can probably get that hex bolt out and that hex bolt's what's been getting in my way. All right, so I don't think that these pins are magnetized or are metal or of a metal that can be magnetized um, or a magnet can be used on because they're not doing anything when I move that the magnet around. But this, uh, the bit certainly is because that goes up and down. The question is how do I get the bit out to use as a tool? And I am not sure I know how to answer that question. Okay, so now I'm wondering whether there's some other place that I can open to get that out because I don't think it's gonna come out through there. I'm not feeling anywhere else that's, well, okay, I take that back, hold on. Oh. Okay, so right here, Okay, so there's two magnets right here, so I'm wondering. Okay, is there an, aha! There is, there you go. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, so I guess uh, my assumptions at the beginning, so kudos to the, uh, to the makers, because this is pretty cool, the fact that I could not even detect those lips. The only way I was able to detect that was because I used this magnet and I kind of felt that around. And now I have this little hex uh, screwdriver. This, I've got a feeling, was a decoy, which I love. <laughs> because I have spent so much time trying to figure out how to get that out, knowing that just by looking at the physics of what's in there that that's impossible unless I took another piece out and so I think that's great that they actually uh, have another uh, completely different tool to be used for this okay so let's see okay so then I'm assuming we use that please be not a lie okay so easy enough we knew this was going to be what we were to do is to take out this big bolt okay so yes I think well it's not as big as I thought. So I think that's holding probably that L cube. Um, probably about the size of one of these blocks. So it's one of those blocks is being held in place. So if we release that, there we go. Okay, so I don't know which, what it was holding, but it's allowing this to move now. So what that is now telling me is that I can now kind of work this as a typical burr puzzle. Um, well, no, I guess burr is the right word, but, uh, and then now we gotta worry about this thing getting in the way, so we just have to, uh, and there we go. So this is right there. That's where the, uh, the bolt was going through, and I guess it went all, all the way through, possibly. Yeah, so it just barely touched that other one, which was holding them all in place. And so now, I should be able to, uh, let's see, so I don't embarrass myself with, just three pieces trying to get them out, but um, let's see, so now this, the V piece, I should be able to put here. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, all right, so that should go down now. Okay, there we go. So now the T piece, or the V piece, oh boy. Okay, <clears throat> so I just noticed something. So as I'm feeling around in this puzzle here, I am not able to get, <laughs> to get these dang two pieces out. And um, I think what I found here is that all the walls are 
I think equal thickness, except for a couple places. So there's enough room for a, uh, like there's half of the wall is gone in here in this, in this block here. And then there's another, right here in the bottom here, there's like a strip. And I think that might be to allow me to find a way to maneuver these things uh, out. Either that or there's another hidden passage or something that I'm just, I need to find. So I set this aside for a few days um, as I had some uh, trips to take and such. And uh, I came back, fooled around a little bit with it. And as I was, I was realizing that, um, you know, given kind of what, where we've gotten to with this puzzle, the really great thing so far has been that when you think that there's absolutely nothing else to do, you're finding these little, um, uh, what do you call them, secret compartments or whatnot, where you basically didn't see those coming. And so I'm thinking it's probably where we are here. And I was fiddling with some of these uh, pieces. I actually took this magnet and I was going around and I noticed that this magnet sticks to this. And I said, you know, darn it. I think they fooled me again, thinking that this is all one piece went. So then I pulled it <laughs> and it wasn't. There's actually a little piece that comes out now the part that is um, I don't quite understand yet is what do, does this mean? Like, what do I use these for? Um, and so what that tells me mainly is that if this comes off of that and this came off of the side and I didn't see that coming and this came off of here and I didn't see that coming, um, it's likely that there's probably some more of that happening. So, you know, I've been trying, I tried for a while to get these two pieces out and we know that one is kind of like a shape like a T and one is shaped like an L. So we know that's the case, but the issue is, um, is there something that we're not seeing as far as, and so I thought I would do the same thing and take the magnet and actually look at all these pieces. And so, you quickly do that. All right, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to show this on camera, but if you look really close, let's see if I can get that. If you look right there, let's see if I can get that where the, I don't know if you can see that, but right that middle block in the T right there, and maybe that'll show up, but that actually has a hole in it which leads me to think, and when I put this in there, it actually sticks to that block. So I'm thinking that there are other pieces like this where pieces are stuck together with magnets. I just need to find a way to find that out to see how they come apart. So right now, I don't think that I have a means to do that. So probably, I'm thinking it's that one with a hole in it, but See if I can find a way to do it. Oh, all right, so right now, that T, when I when I actually used my finger in this hole here and I pulled, maybe I just, oh no, something's happened. Okay, so it feels like something's coming loose. Yes, I just gotta, oh, it's, there's a strong, okay, I got it. So basically, let's see if I can get it out now. All right, so this was on the T. So basically that L shape, which was like this, this was on the end and making the T. So now we have two L shapes like this three in a row. I'm trying to hide that. So it's like it's three in a row. There's two L shapes in there now. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I knew that was, something was weird there. The question is, do, you, do we have to use any of this stuff to like, do, <laughs> I don't know if we need to use those as tools or something. So. Let's see if we can now, now that we got those things out of the way, let's see if we can get these L shapes to kind of fit, to get their way out of the, um, the puzzle here. Oh. 
Ah, uh, okay. All right, so one of the L pieces was stuck here like this. So right, right here. And um, is that right? Yeah, so there's a little divot here that I've been trying to figure out how to use. And so basically if you move it here, it allows you to lean it over enough to get it to come out this part here. So, oops. So now we got that all piece out. We have only that one left. And so then I guess with this one, now we have all this room. You can just kind of twist it around. And I think that should allow us to, unless I am completely wrong. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is like getting a splinter out. <laughs> the relief of getting all those pieces out. Oh my gosh. That was pretty fun though. And the best part <laughs> about all this is that this little mechanism never did a dang thing. That was just a red herring that they put in place to trip us up and I love them for it because that made it so much more fun when you actually figured it out. And I, I'm not sure what this is. Um, this, oh, this is the one with the hole in it. And so it has something magnetic in, magnetic in there. So I'm, I'm looking at it and it looks a little shiny. So I'm wondering if that's the jammed gem that we're supposed to talk, you know, that the whole puzzle's about. Cause I don't know where else the gem would be. So, Oh, maybe that's what this is for. Maybe that's what, maybe somehow this is a tool to get that gem out. Okay, so that was where the uh, screw actually went in. Hmm. So now I just got to figure out what that means. Okay, so this is an odd shape. So I'm wondering if this shape has something to do with twisted or something. I don't want to break anything. It looks like a piece of wood veneer. Um, so it's magnetic here. I don't know if it's that what's magnetic or actually what's in there. It's not magnetic down here on this side. So that little hole, I really don't know. Unless there's something hidden. Oh, that turns. Ah, oh, look at that. It's like a little screw. Comes out. Pretty long screw. I bet you anything it fits in here. Okay, it does. And it's pushing that little wood cork thingy out. All right. <laughs> All right, and so let's see what happens. Oh, it's not coming out. Do I turn it? Oh, it looks like a little hole there. Hmm. Oh, it's magnetic, okay. And there's the jammed gem. Guys, this was so much fun. And I don't care if that diamond looks super small. Okay, that's not in focus. So let's see here. There we go. I do not care that this is just a little cubic zirconium or piece of plastic. That was priceless about how fun that was. I did not expect for this puzzle, because I do not like burr puzzles. I did not expect how much fun I would have with this puzzle. There, it's truly sequential discovery. Let's put it back together and then look at the pros and cons. And there you have it. That is the jammed gem by Cubic Dissection. Let's take a look at the pros and cons. So there you go, that is the Jammed Gem by Cubic Dissection. And so, uh, I don't know 
what else to say, but I was wrong. I am so glad that I listened to uh, the people that steered me to buy this because it is easily one of the top three puzzles of 2022, in my opinion, at least the ones that I've been able to solve or lucky enough to solve. Now that, of course, I'm not saying of all time, I'm just saying of 2022, but regardless, um, I, I am eating a little bit of crow here because I was kind of uh, following along. I knew Cubic Dissections stuff, but I wasn't really very interested until now um, of their puzzles because a lot of them look like they were bird puzzles or packing puzzles, not things that I tend to gravitate towards. Um, but this one uh, blew me away. Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, you know, the pros uh, far outweigh any cons. I'm not even sure um, that I'm going to be able to find many cons about this puzzle because although I thought it was a bit pricey at first, now I see the justification because in order to get us to be fooled so thoroughly, the amount of accuracy for each part must have been painstaking. Uh, I mean, these are like m less than millimeters in, in the way that you have to do this in order for it not to be detectable. I mean, even now as I know the solution, I am like searching for the seams and I am hard pressed to find them. Um, <laughs> it's pretty amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will say that, um, yes, certain parts were a little frustrating but that's the best part of these puzzles is, is not the parts where you get stuck. Yes, it's frustrating when you get stuck, but if it was super easy and straightforward, it wouldn't even be fun. It wouldn't be challenging. So I would say if you are at all uh, interested in sequential discovery, you need to get this. It's not that pricey. It's a, it's a good three, somewhere between three and $400. So it, it's not super cheap, but it is worth it. It is a great piece of woodworking, a great puzzle. And uh, you know, the, the best part is when every time I thought, oh, now I've figured it out because I only got to get this piece out or this piece out, it proved me wrong again and again. Great puzzle, great ride, highly recommended. Uh, and uh, you know, um, I will say, uh, I, I've already purchased additional puzzles from Cuba Dissect Dissection because of this. Um, so we got our cubic zirconium from our cubic dissection puzzle, and now we're gonna move on to the next. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe, uh, feel free to comment, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.